This music on Fire 10. So this is the second episode of the erotic fiction series. It's a book by Zane. Actually, the first Zane book I ever read called Nervous. And it's actually my favorite Zane book. I think I've read this book at least twice. And it's about a young lady named John Quet who, in her mind, like, she's a virgin. She's never been with a man sexually in any way, shape, or form. However, she wakes up sometimes with, like, different clothes on or clothes are ripped. She smells as if she's had sex. She smells like men's perfume. Just all kinds of things are happening. She's like, what the heck is going on? Like, I'm not sure what's going on. So she gets the help of Dr. Marcella Spencer, who um, has also been in another book by Zane. So she's, like, her famous psychiatrist. Um, who helps Jennifer realize that she actually has a split personality, which is my favorite part of this book. The fact that Zane did a lot of research about multiple personality disorder, um, what psychiatrists do to find out if a person is actually suffering from this disorder, like it really intrigued me because it showed like she goes above and beyond in her books. It's not just you know, a book about sex. And I think that is a big misconception with her. Like, yeah, she is a queen of erotic fiction. There are, um, you know, books that she writes have vivid sex scenes in them, but most of her books are quite mysterious as well. There are a lot of things going on with the main character that you don't realize until you get all the way to the end of the book. Like they are suffering from something else. One of her other books, she has a person who's actually an amputee. Like she explores a lot in her books. Um, death of children, all kinds of things. And that is why I really like her. So that's why I'm always, you know, going looking for Zane books. It's not, I mean, the sex scenes are really good. But <laughs> it isn't just about the sex. That's not all she does. She's a phenomenal writer because to me, she goes above and beyond researching, um, her dialogue is fantastic. Pretty much everything about this book is quite a page turner. It'll keep you in there. So, you know, and she's written a lot of other books. So I definitely recommend this book. It's called Nervous and it's by Zane. So that being said, that's pretty much all I have to say about this book, but I'm still requesting information on the book that I'm writing about natural hair. If anybody has any product reviews that they'd like to share, um, any tried and true remedies that they've used, especially for those with fine hair, like thinner strands of hair, my hair is really coarse, pretty much know what works for me. Um, but I'm looking for, you know, other people who have coarse hair and what works for them as well. Um, as well as any stories that people have that they're willing to share about going natural, just pretty much anything. You can just, you know, shoot me a message on here, an email or comment in the box below and I'll let you know if I can use your information or just any advice you can give me about writing the book, what you'd like to see in a book about natural hair from the perspective of a naturopath. So I'll definitely be talking about natural hairstyles for professional women, which I think natural hair, like, you know, it's a hair that grows out of your head. So in my opinion, it's all very professional, but more so how to take care of natural hair as a professional woman, you know, because it can be time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. And so those are the types of things that I'd like to address in the book. Um, but any other advice you all have would be fantastic as well. So like I said, this book is Nervous by Zane. The book I'm writing does not yet have a title, but you know, looking into things like that as well. And you can rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.